Today, let's go and explore the moon. Now tell me, do you think the moon was always there? Let's go back in time four and a half billion years and find out. Most scientists believe that the moon was born when a young planet crashed into the Earth. It was a big crash. Huge amounts of material were thrown into space and later came together to form the moon. Earth was a very different place back then. Let's now go back to 1969. When the first man, Neil Armstrong, stepped on the moon. It was a really special moment. Millions of people on Earth watched it live on TV. Your grandparents probably remember. Humans returned to the moon's surface five more times. They investigated and collected hundreds of kilograms of moon rocks and brought them back to Earth. When scientists examined these rocks, they discovered that they are like Earth's rocks. That's why they thought the moon was also formed out of materials coming from Earth during that early crash. But the last time humans went to the moon was in 1972. Since then, only man-made machines, satellites and robots have visited the moon. There have been many of them. The good news is that today, scientists and engineers are preparing to send back astronauts to the moon and stay for a long time. Look at all the experiments they are doing. Come with me to the moon to see what they need to prepare for future exploration. Wow! Look back at the beautiful blue Earth. Living on the moon would be very different from Earth. When it is dark on the moon, it can get colder than anywhere on Earth. But when the sun shines, it gets hotter than boiling water. I'd better go inside my spaceship. Ah, oh, that is much better. In here, I am protected from these extreme temperatures and from the sun's radiation. To stay on the moon, I need somewhere to live. Kind of like when you go camping on Earth, you have to build a shelter. But a moon shelter would need to be more high-tech to protect from the temperatures and radiation of space. Maybe I could build one out of the lunar soil. Or I could dig a tunnel underground. Or I could even inflate one like a balloon. I also need electricity. But there is no oil or coal to burn or wind power to use. That leaves the sun. I could use solar power on the moon, just like the houses on Earth that have solar panels on the roof. Hmm, I am more comfortable now, but I am thirsty. Where could I get water? Did you know there is water ice on the moon? But only at the poles, in cold craters where the sun never shines. Come with me to a lunar pole and drill to get some. Water is very important. We need it to drink. I could also produce oxygen from it. And that is really important because the moon does not have an atmosphere. So there is no air to breathe. I could even use water to produce fuel to launch rockets. Hmm, but I am also hungry. There is no food here. On Earth, I can grow fruit and vegetables. Maybe I can do the same on the moon. I would need to build my own greenhouse and take good care of my plants. Look at that, potatoes are growing. Now I have shelter, power, water, air and food. That is all I need to stay on the moon for a long time. So, today we learned that the moon was probably formed when a young planet crashed into the Earth billions of years ago. Astronauts have landed on the surface of the moon six times. Currently, only satellites and robots study the moon. Humans are preparing to go back to the moon. To live on the moon, we would need shelter, power, water, air and food.